Today we're going to find out if the drying fermenter is worth using in FS22. Let's take a look at it. All right, new to the mod hub. This is the drying and fermenter. This will be found under placeables. If you go under productions, factories, and you come all the way down, it is the farm system drying and fermenter. So this guy is kind of an all-in-one TMR mixer. Not mixer, but TMR storage for the most part. So if we look here, come up here, the uh, menu's right in front. You can have grass, straw, chaff, hay, and silage put in here. Now, you can pretty much pull out whatever you want at any time. So really, it's not too bad. Uh, we can come over to this section. There is a spout here. You can unload whatever's in there. So, if I come over here, you can hold 430,000 liters of grass. You can hold 270,000 liters of chaff. And what's the other one? 200,000 liters of straw. You can also hold 360,000 liters of silage and 400 liters of hay. Now, at the moment, we don't have any hay or silage in here. So we're going to turn this guy on, see how fast she goes, and uh, test her out. So I'm going to turn on everything. Um, right now, we're doing all right. It's going up pretty quick. It's already at five liters. Uh, I'm going to keep everything on storing at the moment. But this thing's kind of an all-in-one. Now, originally, I did have some problems loading up the grass. It stopped at about 300,000 liters. But I changed trailers for some reason, and it worked perfectly fine. And then I could use my original trailer to fill up the rest. That one's 70,000 liters. I think this one's only 25. So, obviously, it took me a, a little while to fill this thing up. But it does work great. Honestly, storage, no problem. Don't have an issue there. We're already at 63,000 liters for just silage. Another 34. So if you wanted to come here, put in your grass and straw from, you know, just doing regular jobs and cutting grass, I mean, you can make hay out of that. So if you don't want to buy a tether and have to windrow and everything, and you have a mower that automatically windrows for you, this might be the thing to use um, because it's going to turn your grass and hay or grass and straw into hay. You don't have to worry about making hay. And then you already have your grass going for silage as well. So that's your TMR mix right there. You'll have extra straw, I'm sure, because it's not going to use that much. It only uses 50, uh, 50 liters for straw and 1,000 liters for grass to make, I mean, a little under what you would expect um for hay so 950 liters of hay or i'm sorry yeah of hay so really it's not too bad i wish it was like you got 1050 liters of hay but a little cut is not that bad and plus you can store so much it's really over time it's negligible it really is now for just grass into silage, it's an even amount. 700 for 700. And for um, chaff, it's 1,000 for 1,000. So chaff is your best one. Do 1,000 for 1,000. It's going to run the fastest. But grass is still usable. Not too bad. Now, this thing does come with a hefty price tag. So back to productions, back to factories. It's $187,000. And it's pretty bulky. It's, it's a big unit. Now there was the um, this guy over here for thirty thousand. This one came out a couple weeks ago. I believe it is right here. Uh, this one was a thousand for a thousand hay silage or hay for grass, hay and chaff. All for a thousand would make you a thousand silage. So no matter what you put in, a thousand for a thousand. You didn't need any straw. You didn't need anything else. So if you're looking just to make silage to sell, or if you want to do your own hay and you just want to put grass in here and have it make into silage, this is probably your better option. It only costs $2 per month versus in here, it's a little bit more expensive. Wherever I saw that, there it is. So in here, you're going to have $48 for the for making hay. You're going to have 80 or $96 for making grass into silage. And you're going to have $96 for making chaff into silage. So it's a little more expensive. 
but it will do all the TMR. So if you're doing cows, this is a great thing to make hay if you don't want to make hay. And it's honestly like its own silo. You don't have to worry about it. It's in here if you need the extra storage. If you don't have a hay loft and a multi fruit silo, you can use this as an all in one. So you're getting a silo, something that makes its own hay, and something that will make silage for you in one unit. So pretty good, honestly. If you're just going for, hey, I want to make silage and sell it off, this is probably your better option. It's cheap. It will go pretty quick. Not too bad. It's actually faster than the actual grass to silage here. So it's going to make it faster. So if you don't mind doing uh, hay, then this might be your better option if you're doing the cow route. But if you don't want to deal with hay, you just want to cut grass and harvest crops, then this big guy over here, this is the one you want to go for. So, all in all, not too bad. I'm going to grab uh, this guy over here. And I'll show you this real quick. So yeah, originally grass, chaff, hay. You can now pull it out, hay out of here. And you can now pull, yeah, your normal crops you can pull out of here. So your grass, your chaff, your hay, and your straw. If you want to get your, um, your silage, you got to pull this thing around to the front. So these two bins here are your silage bins. So you need silage, come up front. Oh, I have already unloaded it. So 486 liters just goes right in. There's no options. It just automatically loads it in there. Yeah, now we're down to 14 liters of silage. So your silage will be held in these two and then everything else is in the back. So eventually when you come out of here, you can do it with a feed mixer. You can just pull under these and go ahead and take whatever you need out. So all in all, I like it. Not too bad. It's a, a bit expensive. But if you're going to set up your farm ahead of time, this might, might be an early thing you want to get. And uh, just to get things going, especially if you're doing a start from scratch or something, you can put this on the map and uh, just go to it and treat it like a business. So all in all, I like it. It's a good idea. It will make doing cows a lot easier. Uh, don't have to worry about hay. And I mean... It's, it's pretty simple. This one's kind of self-explanatory, but I wanted to get a video showing you both of them just to give you guys an idea of what you would like. So for cows, all in one unit and a silo added in. This guy, more for making just silage, um, still will hold a lot. I forget how much silage this actually takes or holds, but it will still hold a lot. And I think it has a pretty good gas or a grass tank as well. So you can hold, I think, 200,000 liters or something like that. So it's still pretty good, um, but this is going to be more for just silage, make your own hay, make your uh, get some straw and put it all together yourself. Um, so if you don't have a if you don't have a multi fruit silo or something that can hold hay and straw, this one might not be the best option. It is cheap, but it does not a silo. This thing is a beast and it costs a lot, but. You're getting a lot for your money. So honestly, really like both of these. I have this on one of my farms right now. Thinking about transferring to this one later on down the road once I get cows going. So really pretty nice. But I think that's going to wrap it up. Short, sweet video for you guys today. If you did like it, did enjoy these comparisons, leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.